Hey everyone, finished watching the next Wild Force episode, The Master's Herald Part 2. It was alright, uh, I like this one. It's one of those ones I don't really have a whole lot to say about, though, so, uh, anyway, it starts off, Jindrax is off by himself, he feels lost without Toxica there, then we see the Rangers and Merrick are guilty about losing Shayla, and then they receive a message from Onikage telling them to come to the rock quarry. So then they go and they find the orgs holding Shayla, and then Onikage casts a spell that creates evil Shadow Rangers. And so then uh, they're battling with the Shadow Rangers, and then Mandala compliments Onikage on his plan, to which Onikage responds, I am only serving my true master. So then he looks off, and then the others are like, what? And then there's a flash of lightning, and Master Org is back! And both the orgs and the rangers are shocked by his return. Mandalock fires a laser at what he thinks is Master Org's fake horn, but then, like, he d deflects it away, and the horn is glowing, and it isn't fake. And then we see uh, Master Org's third eye blink. It's not his headdress anymore. He doesn't need it. He's, in he's a real org now. <laughs> so then... Mandalock asks Onikage for his staff, and then Onikage just slaps Mandalock away and goes over to Master Org. Mandalock tries to attack, then Master Org just boom, boom, blows up Mandalock. And then, let's see, da 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 da. Then Master Org reveals that, let's see, it was him and Onikage who planned uh, Toxica's destruction, and Jindrax overhears. And, let's see, he escapes through a portal with Princess Shayla. The rangers also escape, but Master Org uses the Shadow Rangers to find them. Off with Jindrax and Toxica, or Jindrax and Shayla. They're, they talk to each other, and Jindrax learns a little bit about Shayla. Shayla learns a little bit about Jindrax and how each of them think. And then suddenly, uh, let's see, we're back with... The rangers, and then Master Org tracks them down and sends the Shadow Rangers back in to fight them. And meanwhile, Onikage finds Jindrax and attacks him. And uh, Shayla is not able to help because she's still tied up. But then, uh, let's see, she's able to like get free enough to uh, go over and try to help Jindrax, but doesn't help. He gets like slashed right away from Onikage, and Onikage takes Shayla to Master Org. Jindrax follows them, and he confronts Master Org, telling them that he doesn't trust them anymore, and he doesn't want to be an Org anymore. Onikage tries to cast his shadow spell on Jindrax, but's deflected back by this mirror that Jindrax was carrying around this episode. Sure. So then, the rangers destroy Onikage's shadow that was created from the deflected wave, and that, in turn, destroys him, and then destroys the Shadow Rangers. Sure, why not? So then, Master Org makes Onikage grow, and Onikage sends the Rangers into a spirit world with giant past orgs. They can't call their zords, but they're gonna fight anyway. So then, uh, in the real world, Master Org locks up Shayla, and Shayla is able to contact the zords and send them to the Rangers. The rangers use the zords to defeat Onikage, and they uh, break out of the spirit world at the end. This is a crazy episode. A lot happens. Um, but it's an episode that, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. Like, it's good. Everything about it is really good. I just, I don't know what to say about it. It's a heavy episode. Uh, backstabbing villains is a common thing in the original Saban era. But this one, like, really goes further. Uh, Jindrax lost his friend, and now he's even facing betrayal from his master. Both of them. <laughs> uh, Mandalock even gets betrayed by Onikage. That's pretty cool. Master Org finally returns. Now he's completely lost his humanity, and he's fully consumed by uh, his Org self, which is really cool. Also, interestingly, on Ranger Wiki, they make it sound even darker by saying that uh, Master Org is actually manipulating the corpse of Victor Adler. The uh, Master Org, the human, has zero control at this point. He's just a dead body being puppeteered, basically. Which, uh, I don't really think that's quite right, since 
I mean, Master Org still has his accent. I don't know why, like, the Org Master Org would want to keep his accent around. Also, in the flashback, don't we hear some, uh, some dialogue from Master Org earlier on in the series? There's the flashback to uh, Merrick fighting with Master Org. Don't we hear Master Org speak and he doesn't have any kind of accent? That's something I thought about. It's kind of weird that he would keep it, whatever. Anyway, uh, the other weird thing with this is this is the end of the two-parter, and the Rangers never get Shayla back. That's kind of shocking. I remember... As a kid, I don't remember if I saw this episode specifically. I think I might have, because it seems familiar, but I don't know for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's really weird not for th for them not to get Shayla back, because this was a two-parter, Masters Herald Part 1, Part 2. Next episode is another episode. Usually, by the end of a two-parter, everything is uh, relatively resolved. I don't remember... If when I was a kid, if I saw this, I think I might have, but I don't know. Maybe I wasn't really thinking about the ending or not. I don't know, maybe I was, just wasn't invested enough, who knows. Uh, one of the nice things is it is nice for the Rangers to have a loss now and then, because it doesn't make the villains look completely incompetent. Uh, it's something that the Saban era seasons would do occasionally, where the Rangers would actually lose once in a while. Uh, nothing long-term, it's still a superhero show for kids, so the good guys are gonna win. But, yeah, as I think about it in the Disney era seasons, I'm trying to think, are there too many times when the villains have, like, a win that lasts longer than half an episode? Uh, let's see, da 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 The Shadow Rangers are a neat idea. They don't really accomplish anything. They have cool looks, and it's a shame that they couldn't do more with them. The idea of evil rangers is such a cool concept, and they don't usually do anything with it for whatever reason. I think the furthest they ever went was the Psycho Rangers. And even then, like, it wasn't even in, in space. In space did have some cool moments with the Psycho Rangers, but it was Lost Galaxy where they returned that they, like, amped them up and they were a genuine threat and they were pretty interesting as characters as well as, uh being a threat for the rangers. Let's see, Lightspeed had the Cyborg Rangers. They were pretty cool. I think they could have, like, brought them back at some point, some way, but I don't know, maybe it would have been kind of complicated to bring them back. Time Force, I... Huh. Time Force didn't have evil rangers. That's weird. I wonder why not. They skipped over that really cool idea in Time Force. Let's see. F going forward from Wild Force... Evil Rangers are kind of a rare thing. In Ninja Storm, there are a few episodes where the Thunder Rangers are working with the bad guys, but that doesn't last too long. Like, almost immediately, they're with the good guys. Then in, uh, let's see, Dino Thunder did have a genuinely, like, evil White Ranger double. SPD had the A-Squad Rangers, and they... they suck. <laughs> um, did Mystic Force have Evil Rangers? I don't think they did. Did Overdrive? Jungle Fury didn't, did they? RPM didn't. Samurai didn't, really. Am I forgetting anybody? Oh, well, anyway. Yeah, this is one of the last major times we have, like, a team of evil rangers, I think. Although, I don't know, maybe I am forgetting, like, there's one or two, like, single episodes somewhere where they have evil rangers. The other weird thing is that that's not the focus of the episode at all. The Shadow Rangers are just kind of tossed to the side. They're just there to be distractions for the rangers. They're barely a step above, like, a one-off monster. So that's kind of unique in itself. Um... Not really a lot else to say about this one, so I guess I'll end it here. Hope you enjoyed this. See ya.